I don't know if you guys definitely didn't hear that. Guys, we got ourselves a problem. We got ourselves a rodent infestation problem. The mice be running through the ceiling, through the walls, and every time I reset my trap under the sink, not long after, we catch a mouse. Something's got to be done. <laughs> Something's definitely got to be done. Uh, I was thinking about throwing a raid bomb in the attic, but I don't know if that would leak through and get me. I reset the trap this morning. That was the fourth mouse I've killed in the past two days. And they just keep coming back with a vengeance. The problem is, is I keep killing them, they keep growing back, they're coming back. And the big problem is, is the fact that this house was built a long ass freaking time ago and the underbelly of the house is pretty much exposed to the elements. So mice can easily get in here and do damage. It's really hard to keep them the frig out. So I started doing research online. Good old fashioned mouse traps. Problem is, is I'm killing them, but there might be more coming in there and seeing the mouse all piled up in the friggin trap and then they're too intimidated to hang out and wait for me to reset it and die so they're running back to base going and reporting the problem i don't know if mice are smart like that they're probably not i probably watched too many cartoons but still it's one of those what the frig so you know what i'm gonna let the dog out because he hasn't been out since 7 30. so some of the plans i saw involve a bucket and a pipe and you basically put the pipe on a bearing or something and you put like peanut butter on the end and the mouse climbs up and walks across the pipe and the pipe rolls and the mouse drops and the bottom of the bucket then if you want to you know not kill them you just don't put anything in the bottom of the bucket and if you want to kill them which i'm all for because there's so many of the damn things you put water in the bottom of the bucket they'll swim around for a bit lose energy and die which i'm good with um you know other people have done it where they put a piece of cardboard or something along the top and they hot glue some peanuts on the end so the mouse can get to them but can't take them off and then the cardboard's on a pivot as soon as they get to the end it drops and throws them into the bucket of water and i've seen videos online of that actually functioning so that's another option to get rid of these little bastards all i know is i'll be sleeping at night and it literally sounds like there's somebody a floor up for me totally having a rave party because you can just hear them scratching and crawling through the walls and pounding away and making a ruckus and it's mainly in the ceiling like and then then they're they're in the ceiling area i could call an exterminator they can come and kill them all but next year they'll all be back because the problem is is this house is just it's got holes everywhere it's it's not something i can fix without destroying the house and rebuilding it it's an old design right it's like 19 fish and chips old but actually this house is built in 1904 so obviously building codes have changed between now and then a little bit so what can you do and I already broke one of my predator traps on a mouse. So I don't know how it happened, but it caught a mouse. But then I wasn't able to reset it because it broke the um, the clip part that grabs onto the clasp for the hair trigger. So there's nothing I can do to fix that except for except the fact that it's broken through it in the garbage. And I'm down to one trap now. And, you know, I just checked now and it's not set. But like I said, it blew this morning. It'll probably go off before the end of shift. I'll have to reset it. I've been using almond butter. Almond butter works pretty good, man. That stuff's like crack for those little bastards so that's all right so that's what i've uh, done for that problem but i was thinking i'd like something that would work more to catch multiples you know something that i don't have to sit there and and keep resetting i might be missing mice it'd be nice if i had a one-stop shop to catch multiples and then just every day check it and if there's like four or five in there then just drill them in the garbage can and uh, resume my daily fun times versus catching one or two a day and missing three so i'm thinking we're after work i'm gonna go out to the garage grab one of my five gallon pails see if i can fit it under the sink because all the plumbing's in the way probably and then from there we will go ahead and try and manufacture some fathom of a trap to catch them now if that doesn't work back to the drawing board to try and figure something else out what i have no idea but stay tuned all right guys the work shift is done but uh before we get working on any ideas or, or any concept or any revelations of a mouse trap i need to run because uh i'm picking something up for another project for ice fishing yes another project for ice fishing something that's gonna make hauling 
stuff on the ice a lot freaking easier and I kind of need it. See, this is like the major problem with when I get off work is you see how dark it is outside? That means that going ice fishing at this time, they say it's good, the bite's really good and the fish are usually in shallow. At the same time, you're kind of dark on the ice unless I have something to light up the area, which I'm sure I could fab something up. Where the hell's my freaking, did I put my ice brush back in here? Thought I did. Yeah, I did. I forgot I got a lure stuck in the back of my truck. Gotta fix that. I was supposed to take that out a while ago. Okay, let me deal with this and uh, I'll show you what we got for the project and then we'll come back and try and figure out a most trap. Okay, bye. All right, guys, we're home. And looks like while I was gone, a dog walked through my yard. It was obviously when I was gone because I would have ran him over because he was here. I love the winter, right? It shows all the footprints. There's bunny rabbit tracks over there. Like over there, there's bunny rabbit tracks. So I think that fat bunny's back. That's kind of cool. He was cute. Let me show you what we got. Probably saying to yourself, oh, Adam, what are you doing now? Well, we're doing ice fishing stuff. With what? That's right, people. We got some freaking skis, cross country skis. They're 20 bucks. They're kids' skis. We need specialized boots for them. The guy was like, I have poles too. The poles are $10. And I have boots size 32 and 36. And I'm like, dude, I wear a size 12. Like, what the heck is those numbers? Now you're probably asking yourself, Adam, what the heck do you want those skis for? I'm gonna give you a quick little little idea here for what we're gonna do. Just so you get a little concept. Just so you have a little concept. Anybody who's been ice fishing, you know damn well, pulling these stupid things across the ice sucks. So this weekend, we're gonna build ourselves what they call a smitty sled. You basically use a set of skis, some wood, bada boom, you make yourself like a skiff, you throw this guy on top, bungee the sea sucker down, throw your auger on it, hook up some ropes, tow that asshole up on the ice. Now, that's cool and all, but, oh man, this bucket has a crack in it. That's no good. Is that a crack? Oh yeah. The asshole's blown out of that one. All right, what other options I got here? I got Sarah's fish bucket that she used to bring over that bass that one time. I gotta get that back to her one of these days. Or I might hang on to it for ice fishing when we're catching panfish. Well, no, that's what the cooler's for. I'm gonna try this bucket. I don't have a smaller one, eh? No. I'm gonna see if I can fit this under my sink because seriously, guys, the whole time I was working today, I'm starting to wonder if it is mice up there. <laughs> the sounds that were coming from the attic literally sounded like something bigger. Like maybe a chipmunk, could be a squirrel, could even be a damn raccoon for all I know. Could even be a damn raccoon. Truck is locked, skis are in the garage. That project will do it on the weekend when we have time and daylight. Not sure how the hell I'm gonna build that around the uh, the car, but we'll figure that out when time comes. Also, I'd like to apologize for this awkward camera angle. I'm currently caressing a friggin' pail here while I'm trying to take off my shoes and get around an active Pomeranian. All right, so let me turn on the lights here. Like my locking mechanism to keep the animals out so they don't get hit by the trap. Trap hasn't gone off. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting rid of this thing because it's a piece of crap. It's gross, it's disgusting. It belongs in the waste. As you can tell, there's a lot of freaking mouse poop down here. This has been a lot of mice down here pooping. This bucket totally fits in there. So what I'm thinking is what they normally do is they'll put like a lid on it and a steel bar through this, the back end here like from here to here and the piece of cardboard will counterbalance it with like a bolt or something something heavy enough to make it bounce back up but not heavy enough where the mouse walks across the mouse will be okay is that thing still set so this thing here is just covered in mouse poop and yeah it's going in the garbage so i need a good piece of cardboard is this gonna work that will work what i might use we'll move mr poly gun Actually, I might need that very soon because I'm actually debating on going up in the attic and seeing what's in there and putting a pellet in its head. The rifle will be too big to uh, maneuver up there. I had green gas for my airsoft rifle, let me tell you what. Or for my airsoft pistol. Corona, you okay? All right. Yeah, this old container should work. We can uh, take a chunk out of one of the big flat spots, cut a circle, call it Bob Ross and send it. Hey Bucket, do you want to be a mouse trap? Hey Oreo, do you want to be a mouse trap? Did you find something that you like? You just, ah. oh my goodness. Alrighty, so through the power of culinary management, literally, I used a bread cutting knife to cut the cardboard because scissors are overrated. Um, we have a piece here. Now the objective is, I'm gonna have to rip a hole at the top of the bucket like yay and yay. Requires me to go back out to the garage. Don't know why I took off my hoodie. And mount this thing here so that it sits. We gotta put some weight on the back end of it. Somehow support it too. So that when the mouse walks on it, he goes up front and as he passes a certain point, boom, he falls in there. And then when he falls off, 
this here comes back up but we don't want it to touch the bottom so we want it to sit right around there so we want the steel bar to go through right here-ish I should mark that area with the pen I don't have I literally turned around looked on the floor and found a pen help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who deserve it okay I need to go out to the garage rip a couple holes in the bucket and oh yeah rip a couple holes in the bucket and then twist a piece of steel long enough to oh man brand new shirt I already got goop Frank sakes, how do I do this to myself? Like all the time. Never fails. I ask what's wrong with me, but you know that's a video of its own. Alright, I should be okay out here for a little bit before any problems persist. You know, the more projects I do like this, the more I question if I really want my car in the garage. <laughs> like honestly. Just fire it outside, let it become a snowbank again. Nah, we'll leave it in here. We'll try and work around it. If I don't use it next year though, I'm probably gonna end up selling it because uh even though I own it, it's mine. It doesn't cost me any money to do anything with it. I'm not gonna use it, why keep it? And why it's so dark over here? Those freaking fluorescents back there are garbage, I forgot. Okay, so my stupid idea is this. Run this wire through here. Hey, like my workbench? It's also the hood of my car. Uh, run the wire through here, and we're gonna run this wire through the, the cardboard using duct tape to hold it because why not? I don't have any glue on me and I don't own a glue gun. Well, I do, I just don't have sticks for it because I don't make it for that size anymore. Don't buy glue guns from the dollar store. Okay. Let's go in the house. Oh, look, I decided to come out finally. I'm all done my work and it's like, oh, by the way, bing, and then that one turned on too, so that's kind of neat. Anyway, let's pitter-patter, head back into the house, and maybe we'll get rid of that bug carcass out here. It's kind of a little upside down dirt dump. There we go. Because we are going to put water in the bottom of this, which is the other reason why I don't want the cardboard touching it, so that the mice fall in and drown to death and die. See guys, I do believe all, all animals have a right to live, but on the same time, when they're in my ceiling and they're causing problems and making noises that sound like they want to come through the roof and cause me all sorts of money, the bitch has got to go. Just came over here to grab some weight to counterbalance the cardboard so that uh, when I have it sitting where I want it, if I decide to... Uh, Basically, so it resets itself when it dumps a mouse. Hopefully mice aren't capable of jumping out of this bucket, because that would just suck. Otherwise, I may have to look in another, into another way of dealing with this problem. Okay, I ran into a conflict. Can't pass the wire through the holes I drilled, so shit. He was looking so cute over there, so I wanted to film him. The moment I turned the camera on, he's over here. What a wiener. Ignore my messy countertop, or try to. Okay, so here's the concept. Um, I put some weight under here in the form of a washer. I tried originally with this heavy washer, and it was ridiculous the amount of weight that you had to put over here to make it flip. And then I tried with this even heavier bolt, or nut, and it was ridiculous. So I'm just running a single washer. So I'm gonna have a ramp. The mouse is gonna walk up the ramp, climb onto here, and then go over and grab the oh boom oh i'm in the water but this is also a problem it might not reset depending on when the mouse jumps off so i'm not sure what i can do to cause it to bounce back i can just hope it does on its own mark one boys mark one i gotta also put them so that they're staying inside of here because as you can see it jumps out on the first fall so yeah all right Made another rendition because I realized something, something important. I cut the front of the box off. Key reason, I gotta move this over a bit, is when the mouse falls in, I do not want the cardboard to touch the water. With the mouth on there, I literally had about maybe a quarter of an inch of water. Now I can get that much water in the bottom. Enough for the mouse can swim around without touching bottom. Will tire himself out and drown to death. I have a feeling I got a chippy kicking around in here somewhere. I'll know when the lights go out and the building catches fire. That much is for sure. However, I thought of a solution on how I can get the damn thing to rebound back for me. And that solution is cordage. Got some cordage here. I'm gonna bring it in the house. Cut off a, an amount. Attach it to the bucket. Attach it to the platform. And the platform will only be able to drop so far before bouncing back. So, here's hoping Mousy Mouse doesn't get a good grip on the cardboard. And he eats shit. That'd be awesome. Okay, so here's the train wreck, disgusting mess I came up with. Mouse comes up the ramp, climbs on here, goes, Ooh, food. Oh, I'm, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm dying. I'm dead. Okay, so that's my representation of what I'm hoping to happen. But will it happen? I don't know. Still got to figure out a ramp for this damn thing. Probably going to use another piece of cardboard, and I have no idea what the frick I'm going to use to prop it up. Probably another piece of cardboard. 
I have no faith that any of this will work. But let's give her a go. So basically we got a ramp, which uh, I attached to the, um, the duct tape there to the lip. And so Mickey comes up here. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Okay, oh, oh, what's up here? Oh, 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 food. <laughs> At least that's my reenactment. It probably won't work that way. But we'll set it up for tonight. And we'll see what we get tomorrow. For bait, these guys get nothing better than great value natural almond butter. It's smooth. It's also a year and a half old. I don't eat this stuff. I literally bought it for bait. Alrighty, there we go. Is it gonna work? Probably not. We'll give her a go. All right, she's all under there. Let's see if it actually does its job. I got the other trap there too. Nighty night, lock it up with my steak knife. One day I'll buy the proper child locks for that. I just gotta keep scampers out of there when I have traps. Cause I could just imagine her, she'd open it up, go, what's this, clap, and then she'd have a freaking mouse trap on her paw. Probably wouldn't feel too great. All right guys, we'll let that sit there overnight. We'll check on her tomorrow and see if we have any Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse in the old bucket of love, also known as the water bucket. And if we do, then ka-chow. We killed some mice. Sweet. All right, guys. Tune back in. Or not team tune. Tune. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned because the next clip will be the clip where we either have mouse or we don't have mouse. So, or we have mice because there could be more than one if the trap works right. It probably won't, but let's just pretend. Okay, okay, bye. Alrighty guys, it's the next freaking day. Just got done my workout. I think it's currently like 7 o'clock or 6.30 or I don't know. I suck at telling time. All I know is I gave her all I got in the workout. I feel fan-damn-tastic right about meow. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. In this video, we're going to see if we caught anything in the makeshift mouse trap. Well, something happened here. I don't know if we got anything in there. No. We didn't catch anything. Boo earns. Sorry for the awesome angles, guys. There is not a in there. Not a mouse in the house. Son of a bitch. Leave her dangle for a couple days and maybe we'll catch something. Who knows? Not sure what the heck happened here, though. It's like a mouse came and took a piss on my freaking ramp. Oh, I'll leave her alone, like I said, for a few days and see what happens. Right now, I'm gonna get ready to cook some dinner. I'm freaking starved. A lot of you are probably saying, Adam, why don't you just go out and buy some like warfarin or some mouse poison tablets, fire those around the house. Well, it's because I don't want to put the animals at risk like Oreo and, and Scampers. Like what if a mouse gets a, a pellet and decides to run out in the open and the cat gets it, gets the mouse and then eats the pellet? Well, the cat could die. And I understand they do have pellets that are pet friendly and interrupt with the mouse's uh, uh, digestive system causing them to full, pull full dehydration hydration and it's not enough of a dose to hurt a dog but the reviews I looked at those ones said that the mice don't even bother with them because they don't taste good and don't have a good smell so they got really shit reviews the ones that got good reviews have warnings on them saying um, caution around your pets because if your pets eat them they're gonna die so and I would be tempted to do that I'm actually tempted to get some and fire them up in the attic and see if I can kill whatever's up there like I said I'm, I'm a little nervous about going up into the attic because number one I got to climb a ladder and I'm already uneasy on that but knowing me I'd open the door and whatever the heck is running around up there will just jump bomb me and knock me off the ladder and break my face even though that could make for an awesome freaking viral video and could kill me to death I don't think we want to go that route I know you guys would love it you guys would probably just be ecstatic if I did that I'll probably end up doing it who knows the other option was was firing the GoPro up there on a monopod not even me going up there just put the GoPro on a monopod with a flashlight fire it up there and take a shot like a little periscope action boom boom and see what the heck is going on and then pull it back down and then review the footage and go okay we got ourselves a chupacabra in the attic we got to deal with that right meow you know contact a buddy get a shotgun and start blowing holes through the side of this building but <laughs> anyway guys I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out something because uh, every day at 10 o'clock it literally sounds like there's a herd of animals running up, running around above me. So there's like a whole fleet of mice up there just freaking doing the Mice Olympics or some nonsense. We'll deal with that another day. So the mouse trap didn't fail but it didn't work because there's no mouse in it. But the other mouse trap that's been working 
hasn't worked, so I don't think any mice have come up. They, okay, this is the thing. This room here is roughly the same height as this room here, okay? See where that there kind of levels off? This goes up. So this here, there's, there's a section above this, and every once in a while you can hear the mice running across this too. So that's kind of annoying. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it at this uh, for now. If you have any suggestions, comments, or anything about the mouse trap, or any ideas, if you're like a professional exterminator and you have some really good ideas that you're willing to give to me for free, I'd be willing to definitely take those off your hands that'd be sweet um any questions comments concerns you know where to put them down below the go and until next time guys remember live to win never give in sit stupid sit good dog